everyone. For my math subject in my homeschooling, my lesson is about rays and angles. But before we discuss about this topic, let us recall about what we have learned from last week's lesson. We, we have learned that, we have learned what is a point, what is a line, and what is a line segment. Let's just have a quick review. A point is represented by a dot. We name a point by a capital letter. Example, point A. A line has no endpoints. It can be extended into both directions. Let's name the points A, B. Or line A, B. Or line B, A. And this one is a line segment. A line segment has two endpoints. It's a part of a line. We can name these points C, D. We can write it as C, D. We can write it as line segment C, D or line segment B, C. So now that we have recalled last week's topic, we are going to learn today about rays and angles. Let us define first what is a ray. A ray is a part of a line that starts with a point and goes on in one direction. Again, a ray is a part of a line that starts with a point and goes on in one direction. You might be wondering, what is the difference between a ray and a line? Un unlike lines, ray starts with a point and goes on in only one direction, like this. It goes on in one direction, which is right. Going to the right. And on the other hand, lines can be extended in both directions. That's the difference between a ray and a line. Now we go to angle. What is an angle? An angle is formed when two rays meet at a common endpoint called vertex. If you would notice, one ray is going up and one ray is going straight down. And the point where they meet is called vertex. Now, let's go back to ray. This figure shows a ray named AB. In symbol, we write This symbol is used to represent a ray. In naming a ray, the endpoint is named first, the endpoint is named first, followed by any other point on the ray. So we read this as ray a, B. Now let's go back to angles. This figure shows an angle. This is called angle CDE or angle EDC. In symbol, we write angle CDE or Angle E D C. We use this symbol 
to represent an angle. We can also call this angle simply angle D because it is a common endpoint of this angle which is called the vertex. And now, we will go to the different kinds of angles. First type of angle, acute angle. Not cute, acute. An acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. Angles have different measures like this one. It measures acute angles le measure less than 90 degrees. It depends on how large the opening of the angle is. We use a protractor to measure an angle. The unit of measure of an angle is called degree, and we use this symbol to write degree. Now we will measure the acute angle using the protractor. Always remember, acute angles are, uh, measure less than 90 degrees. So let's see if it's less than 90 degrees. So we will put this dot over here in the protractor to the... There we go. And then let's measure it. It's 30 degrees! There. Okay. there we go. It's 30 degrees. There, it's 30 degrees. We write in symbols angle C B A is equal to thirty degrees. Therefore, acute this angle is an acute angle because thirty degrees is less than ninety degrees. Second type of angle, right angle. Right angles measure, right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. Let's see if this is really a right angle. It is! In symbol, we write it as angle D E F is equal to 90 degrees. Angle DEF is equal to 90 degrees. Third type of angle. Obtuse angle. An, an obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Again, obtuse angle measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Let's see if this is an obtuse angle. It's 120. It's 120 degrees. 
and symbol, we write angle G H I is equal to 120 degrees. Therefore, this angle is an obtuse angle because it is more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Fourth type of angle, straight angle. Straight angles measure exactly 180 degrees. This is an, an, an straight angle. Let's see if it's really straight angle. It's 180 degrees. We write this as angle angle J L is equal to 180 degrees. Fifth and last type of angle reflex angle. Reflect reflex angle measure more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. Again, reflex angles are measures greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. Let's see if this is really a reflex angle. So the first side is 180 degrees and then the other side then for the other side it's an additional 65 degrees. Therefore 180 degrees plus 65 degrees is equals to 245. In symbol, we write this as angle O N M is equals to 245 degrees. Therefore, this angle is a ref uh, is a reflex angle because. 245 is greater than 180 degrees, but it is less than 360 degrees. And now, and now, for our activity, we will be playing clock angles. I will give you the time, and you will guess if it of if what kind of angle is it. What type of angle is this? If your answer is an obtuse angle, you're right! It's an obtuse angle. It's an obtuse angle because it measures more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. You see? Cute. 
angle because it measures less than 90 degrees. Look! Last, what is this angle? It's 6 o'clock. What angle is this? If your answer is straight angle, you're right! It is a straight angle because it measures exactly 180 degrees. Look! Now it's time for some trivia! Did you know that numbers were, f were formed because of their number of angles? Number one, let's see. Number one has one angle. Number two has two angles. Number three has three angles. And number four has four angles. Number five has five angles. Two, three, four, five. And number six has six angles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven has seven angles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight has eight angles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine has nine angles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. 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 Now you know how numbers were formed according to the number of their number of angles. Before I end, I want to share to you the life lesson I have learned from the lesson angles. In an angle, there is a point where the two rays meet, which is called the vertex. Jesus is the vertex of our lives. May we reflect his character in every angle of our life. I want to share to you a verse that has angles in the Bible. Habakkuk, Habakkuk 1 verse 15. They take up all of them with the angle. They catch them in their net and gather them in their drag. Therefore, they rejoice and are glad. Bye!